good afternoon everyone so it's been a pretty chill day today we're heading over to the bio me store it's like an eco store or eco eco friendly i should say store for like reusable products and stuff so yeah i'll come show you guys around we'll have a bit of a look see inside i do want to pick up one of those stainless steel water bottles because they usually don't have any like chemicals that can leak into your water when you're drinking so that's what kind of like what i'm more so focused on looking for but yeah i'll come show you guys around we'll have a little look together shall we yeah so it's zero waste that's what i was more kind of getting it so zero waste shops and free and you have your ethical choices which is pretty cute it smells so good in here oh my god those earrings Oh, look, they're beef soap. Are they, I think they are. These are so cute. That's what smells so good. It's these little, like, soaps. I've already been a big fan of these for a while. That's those, like, pan of chocolates. Oh, they're so good. So with these, these are, like, instead of snap lock um, plastic bags that you use to, like, wrap your sandwiches up and everything, you can use these and you just shove your sandwich in there or, like, like you can see on the packaging, like, some fruit. And they're reusable, so you don't have to use as many of those like snap lock bags, which are single use plastics. Candelia waxes, which is a vegan alternative to beeswax. Yeah, our root pack is really using gluten free cooking. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's like a gluten free alternative. But see that, that's the green here, like in your mask that you used in the bag, it's so cute. Oh, dry shampoo premix. It's a healthy one. Oh, yeah, that's a better option than your usual this, store bought. This is what Wellness Mama uses, she makes her own tooth powder. Oh, that smells so good. That's the rose geranium, rose and geranium bath salt. So they also have like a relaxation one. This is so cute. What's all oh, of these like reusable razors? I'm looking into getting one of these just because when I'm traveling and everything, I don't want to, have to be using single use razors. Oh, this one's actually really cute. Oh, it's like rose gold. And what you do with like the uh, razors once they've been like blunted and you can't use them anymore is you like send them to the original store and they can reuse them or you can actually take them to specific places that'll recycle them. Oh, cute. overwhelmed with like all the selection of products that they have like there's like everything under the sun here <laughs> it's crazy it's all reusable or eco-friendly ethical zero waste as well it's crazy it's amazing this is like my heaven I've like died and gone to heaven right now these are like those um, moon cups you can get I have one of these they even have more oils here bug spray instead of using like that one that's got a lot of chemicals in it even like a room spray wow oh look they have cloth pads so these must be like the the period section or something oh that's actually kind of cute not that i use like pads or anything i'm not one of those i don't i know i'm not really into that i know i've just never really been into like sitting in it so i prefer like something that you like shove up oh cute and they even have like oh little god. like zinc and stuff too oh my god and it's so natural wow this is from Biome Wooden Shave Brush. Oh, so when you shave. Literally, there's stuff here that I'll never think to use yet. It's like available to you. They have little candles. That See, these ones are made from beeswax, guys. So it's better for you to like breathe in. I wonder what the ingredients are, what does it say? So it contains no paraffin, soy or palm wax. And there's no other harmful ingredients. Just pure Australian beeswax and cotton wick. I can even get paper snap and sandwich bags. Oh, these are like the lunch boxes you can get. These last for ages too. So this is what you like say if I want to get Thai or something. Yeah, and you get takeaway Thai and they always give you those plastic containers. If you give it you could ask them if they do it in one of these. 
Or if it's a container from like your Tupperware cupboard, you can take that and use that instead. That's what I kind of want to get into a little bit more is bringing my own container along. They brought one the silicon straws. Wow, they're so pretty. What do you use them? They're so big too. Wow. Yeah, like Love, a she said. Mm -hmm. This would be good for like bubble tea or something. Chai time. Oh, and they have normal lunch boxes here too. Oh my god, they have like little sn snap lock sandwich bags here too. But they're reusable. And that's what I was showing you guys before. Oh, and cute they have little cutlery too. I don't know what that is. Chopsticks, I think. Oh, that's honey. So honeybees contribute to over one third of our global food supply through pollination. This neighbourhood honey is the result of hinterland bees foraging through native bushland, a pure reflection of northern rivers' broad floral diversity. Oh, they even have like little honey sticks, that's so cute. I've definitely got my fair share of reusable straws, I don't need any more. But look at all the reusable cups. Oh, this is glass bottles. So guys, when you're using like drink bottles, um, they're actually interesting, like even BPA free ones will have another chemical called like BBS or something like that. But what it'll do is like it'll leak into your water. So even if you think you're like actually, you know, doing something good for yourself by getting a BPA free. If it's still made from like that reusable plastic stuff or like just plastic bottles in general, it's still going to leach into your water. But if you use glass or like stainless steel, it won't actually leach into your water. So you'll be drinking like pure water. It won't be like added chemicals from the container that it's in. You just gotta be careful with like stainless steel. Sometimes they actually have a plastic lining on the inside. So you just gotta be mindful okay. of where you're getting it. I think when I feel like when I drink out of like a stainless steel bottle that it tastes like steel. I was thinking of picking up my boyfriend a like like a bottle or something like that, but I'm not sure which one to get him. Just because I know he's he's pretty good when I talk about this stuff with him. He's always interested and if I got him one I think he'd use it. I don't like him using those plastic ones as much. So I'm just thinking if I should get him like I wouldn't get him glass because at work that's the thing if you get glass I'd be worried about smashing it or dropping it, but like I'd get him a, a, a big bottle or something. Oh, that's huge. That's one liter. Now that's like next level big. <laughs> oh my god, it's 1.9. This is stainless steel water bottle. BPA free, no plastic touches water. Toxin free too. Oh wow, so it stays cold for like I a day. Those ones because they have no plastic. And it's big enough to be like guzzles water sometimes. I might get in this one. Apparently there's makeup around here. I'm gonna have a look. Oh, oh cute coffee. Not that I drink it, but still. It's a reusable stainless steel coffee capsule. That's so clever. These are really good like for bubble teas and things just because like the opening so big. Another lunchbox you could get. I mean there's like a million and one choices here. Oh, English breakfast, yes please. I'm a big tea fan. Oh, and you have your own like little strainer. So it's better to actually use loose tea leaves like for yourself and just for the uh, environment because tea bags usually have bits of plastic in the actual wrapping which I didn't realise until my sister told me. She's really big on this stuff. So like using a strainer and actually using loose tea leaves you get more flavour but it's also not putting more plastic into the environment. Oh this is what we're looking for. This is all the makeup, eco minerals. This is my jam. Oh what the heck. These are like eyeshadows. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. So the makeup is vegan, cruelty free, 100% pure, SPF, and Australian. Oh, damn. Uh, and it's from Byron Bay. Oh, this is so beautiful, this olive leaf color. It's an eye, it's like a pigment almost. I've been saying it for a while, like I've been wanting to get into like more like natural makeup products for you guys to like give you options if you were more interested in that on my channel. So I want to like start purchasing things like that, like being more mindful with my dollar and also mindful with myself, like what I'm putting on my skin and things like that. I guess as a consumer you have the power of what you use to, like what you choose to spend on. I don't know, I feel like there's not a lot of people giving the option of what like more natural makeup products trying to achieve like still like extravagant dramatic looks. So that's kind of what I want to do. They even have hair growth serums, acne spot. I wish I had, like if I had acne now, I would be trying this out to see if it actually does help. Here's natural deodorants. I don't know how well they'd work though. Do you think they'd be 
I mean, this is coconut and vanilla. Um, yum. Oh, it's a tester. Mmm, that smells so good. I wonder how well it would work. Just roll-ons I'm always a bit apprehensive about. I use like a cream deodorant that's natural, but I'd be curious to try out that and see. I've got to say, and everything at the store is palm oil free. Did you guys say that in? Everything at the store is palm oil free. <laughs> she's so cute. She comes in the corner and she's like, just wanted to let you guys know that everything at the store is palm oil free. Which is like actually so good, but it's just so cute. Rose water. Pure rose water. What would you use pure rose water for? Rose water is fantastic for your face. Oh, for your face. skin. To be honest, skin in general. We usually use it in um, when you're making products with. Like rose water I use in perfume and stuff. You can mix it to make perfumes. Yeah. So it helps to restore pH balance and draw toxins out of your glands and your armpits. So you have nice and smelling pits. Because it gets rid of more than bacteria that causes That causes like so, odour to build up. You do it once a week. Yeah. And that's what it'll do. Well it won't make you smell better. forever. But it'll just reduce that strong smell that it builds up. Oh here we go. More deodorant sticks. A foot yeah. stick. Now that's interesting. Bug stick. Hair stick. They gotta stick for everything. <laughs> Natural deodorant. Oh, cocoa honey. That sounds like really yum. Do they have a bio me store in Sydney? I don't know. I only heard about the one. Yeah. Oh, I think they have one. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. You can just yeah, order it online. Yeah. But this is really fantastic. It re recalc like helps build the enamel and the cal adds calcium to your teeth and makes it stronger. So it helps with the strengthening of your teeth, teeth powder. A lot of people use it. It's, it's like what the guy talked about yesterday about like oil pulling, pulling, oil pulling and stuff. Like if you did that, you probably wouldn't need teeth powder, teeth powder to be honest. It's just for people who really want to go the extra mile. Pull their teeth, yeah. That can be also a alternative to having toothpaste if you have tooth so you can use that instead of toothpaste. Maybe you oh, could really? you'd you wear it, wouldn't you? On yeah. the brush. On the brush, so it's not a toothpaste, it's a tooth powder, you just rub it in them. Through. So if you look at the directions. Oh, they have peppermint flavoured too. You can even get like bags and stuff if you really want to go the extra mile and get a backpack. Conditioners, deodorant, creams even. Guys, there's like deodorant left, right and centre here. This is my Christmas. Oh my god, this is so cool. So they have a men's deodorant range too and ladies. That's like the paste. There is literally like so much deodorant. Can I smell that one? What, what flavour is it? I prefer this one. Oh, I don't like that one. No, I don't like that one. It smells nice. It smells like spice. What is it? Spice. spice. Mm. Oh my god, it smells like a chai latte. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I found my one true love. What flavor is that? Citrus spice. Mm. This one is amazing. But yeah, I'm always like conscious of what I put on my armpits, like deodorant wise, just because um, it's like right, literally where your lymphatic system is. So like whatever you're putting on there is going to absorb through into your lymph nodes and through your lymphatic system and get dispersed around the body quite quickly. So like, I get why, like obviously people need to use deodorant and I also like still use perfume and things even though I shouldn't, I do. But for deodorant, I use like a paste from this um, online store. So it's all like 100% natural. It's just like a paste, so it's a deodorant paste and it works really well even like when I sweat and like go to the gym and everything like that. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But I like how they have a huge range. So you've got your sticks, you've got your paste, you've got your creams, you've got your, like, you've got literally every deodorant under the sun here. But yeah, I just like think to be more mindful. I want to pick up my boyfriend one of these because he's a little bit into, he's like, he's pretty good. He's pretty interested in this stuff. But I might pick him up a small one and see how he goes with it. Because if he doesn't like it, he won't use it. And fair enough, like you want it to work. The directions. Use the spatula provided and scrape a pearl size amount from the recycled paper box. Apply to the armpit area and gently rub into the skin until it dispersed evenly. Maybe I should get him like this this scenting of chai. He can smell like chai. That's the coconut mango. Oh wow, that smells really good. And then that's the apple bergamot. Oh, that smells nice. I might get him coconut mango, although apple bergamot does smell good. Mm. He can smell like coconut mango. I think I might pick him up that one. And it's only a little size too. So if he doesn't like it, it's not that, like, it won't be a waste, like, I won't mind. But I just want to, like, I just, like I said, I'm just more cautious about, like, what you put on that kind of area. Especially because a lot of, like, store-bought deodorants and things do have, like, aluminium in them. I'm not saying if you guys, like, change it, but just like, something to think about. Oh, he can smell like a woman. Oh, these are those, these are, like, these bath bombs that you make, Ness. Yeah, the toilet ones, so they're just... Oh, they're toilet bath bombs. Oh, they're not even bath bombs. <laughs> oh, my God, the toilet bombs, not bath bombs. Oh god, there's lipsticks here too! Oh, I could live here. They even have like mascara and things here. I think that's like a lip balm there. No so you can use that to a bacon effect. Yeah. 
Oh, oh not like cling wrap? Yeah, it's, you wrap it, you seal it, and you bake in it. And you reuse it. Oh, did you guys pick oh, up one of those second. deodorants too? Oh, those like sponge cloths, they have everything for your household here too. I'd say that shop went pretty well. What was interesting is that the lady was saying with the stainless steel bottle, because I've always, like, I've had a stainless steel bottle before. I think I already told you guys this, like, it tastes like you're drinking, like, it, out of, like, it tastes like you're drinking out of a metal bottle. It's not good. But she said with this one, it's just had many reviews on it, and they've said, like, you don't taste the metal at all. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't taste like metal, and hopefully he likes it. I mean, I'll use it if he doesn't want it, but I'm sure he'll like it. I'm just conscious of, like, because you drink water so much at, like during the day and like each time you drink it you gain more of those chemicals leaching through the plastic or through the bottle but yeah i think that overall that was such a cool shop it was so interesting like just seeing all the different like product ranges they had like literally there's so so many different products i was actually blown away by how many products they had they so much range. like they had such a huge product range for your home for your face for your body for like your skin for your toilet even like there was a whole section just for your toilet. Now I couldn't believe how many like different like packaging products there were for like there were different sandwich bags you could like wrap your products in. I really thought the cling wrap or like the cling wrappy like baking papery reusable replacer thing was pretty cool. Like that one I showed at the end that mum got. That was pretty cool. I didn't even see that when we were looking around. That's what I mean like the shop was massive. There were so many different options. So many different things you could get. One of the girls I follow on Instagram actually talked about Instagram. Instagram actually talked about um, those silicon mats that you can use instead of baking paper and you use that on your like tray. Oh yeah, yeah I've so seen those. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta make sure they're oven proof so they won't melt. Oh yeah, that would be awkward hey, if you just got it all melting away through your fridge. So, oh yeah, yeah oven. But yeah, overall that was a pretty good uh, pretty good chop. So <laughs> Hi, I'm just filming my outro. Oh, bye! <laughs> they just went shopping. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing my outro. <laughs> <I got> <gasps> oh! What's an outro? Bye! That's an outro. Oh, they bought well, sugar snap peas. Well, are we going out to dinner tonight? Are we going out to dinner tonight? Yeah, we're going to vegan places. Oh! I want to take you guys to the vegan place then. Yeah. Bye. Too late. Sorry, everyone. Not gonna have any room. <laughs> em, what are you doing? Why? All right. Well, I'll just take you along to the vegan place because I do want to show you the menu is so good. And I saw those pancakes and waffles are literally like the best. I don't know if I'll get them for dinner, but I'll show you guys anyways. Like, what was in them? <laughs> okay. I'll outro a bit later. So, see you in the next clip. Boom! Do you like my GoPro? It's new. <laughs> That's so cute. So we're set out to head to dinner. I went to this place. It's called. I don't even know what the place is called, honestly. Oh, the car. But we're going to this place called Urban Fresh, Urban Food Store, or Urban something, it's Urban Kitchen. And I went there the other day. Um, for Valentine's Day with my boyfriend, we went and got. I said, I think I mentioned my love love. We went and got the vegan pancakes, and we got the waffles as well, which were like legit, so good. So we're gonna go and have dinner here now. I don't know. They always have such good options here. It's so yum, and it's literally so quiet. <laughs> See? I hope. I hope these are donuts, and I hope that I can eat one, and I hope they're gluten free. Don't they just look so scrunchious? Those um, those like things on the counter are those donuts? Yes. Are they are they vegan? <gasps> oh, really? Oh my god! I'm getting one. <laughs> but legit, I could actually cry that they have vegan gluten-free donuts here as well. I thought I could only get them at the markets, and I was like, that's that's it. Like I'll never have it again. But then they have it here, and I could actually cry. <laughs> Urban presents a mighty meat-free vegan burger. I might get the burger. I might get the burger. Wait, is, it, is it not on the menu? Is it only on the thing? That's See, this says something about a burger. So I'm going to get the burger. So what I was thinking, I might get the actual Buddha bowl. The signature... <laughs> the signature Buddha bowl. And then Ness will get the burger. And then I'll half the burger. And Ness can have half my my half Buddha half. bowl. I keep calling it a booger bowl. Right. So Ness, Ness will like Emmy will split like half a burger, and then I'll have half the booger bowl, and she can have the other half. That way I get to try everything. 
No, don't miss out. Look how colorful it is. Damn, this is delicious. Got a spoon or an apple? So it has some, some garnish. Avocado, sweet potato, beetroot, eggplant, Chili. zucchini, Chili. Brussels sprouts, spinach, tomato, cucumber, broccoli, lamb, lamb. bit of pumpkin in there, Toast. bit of quinoa. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, that looks amazing. That's, That's vegan and gluten free. Here's my burger. Yum. Yeah. On the radio.